Hi, this is Chris Jobling again uh, with a pre-session presentation. This time we're going to talk about the general solution of state space models. Um, and follow on from the last session which was about how we go use system transformations to go from uh, any state space model to a diagonal model. Now we're going to use a similar approach to show you how the exponential function, the uh, transition matrix, is derived using a similarity transpose as well. So for this we're going to uh, start off by looking at the Taylor series which is used to define things like the exponential function. So we have uh, this formula for Taylor series which says that any function f of t can be defined as f0 plus f1t plus f2t squared and so on where the f i values here depend on the nature of the function. Um, the same sort of approach would apply to a matrix function. So if we had a function which which was defined as some kind of matrix multiplied by t, then the corresponding Taylor series would be um, f naught again times the identity matrix plus f1 times a t and so on uh, up, th up through the powers of, uh, of t. And notice we're multiplying the matrices as well as we go up in this series. So, given the transformation that we started, w we had last week uh, in the last lecture, uh, we showed that if we take a transformation matrix which is equal to the eigenvectors of the A matrix, then this transformation ma matrix T minus 1 AT will produce the lambda function which is, of course, a diagonal matrix. So if we say A of t, then, is equal to t lambda t minus 1 of t, which is the inverse of this equation here, then we can compute successive powers of n by uh, raising the power of this expression, uh, multiplying over and over again by t lambda t minus 1 and so on. And then if we expand the brackets, you, you can see that we get these terms here appearing in the expansion where we have t minus 1 followed by t over and over again. And so t minus 1 times t, that is equal to i, the identity matrix. So we get an expression then t times lambda i times lambda i and so on to right to t minus 1 to the t. And of course anything multiplied by identity matrix is, is, is a thing. So effectively what we've got there is for a to the n, t to the n, we've got t times lambda to the n, t minus 1. So the only thing that we're actually having to multiply is the matrix which is a diagonal with the eigenvalues on the diagonal terms uh, which is easy to do so t times this product of the i, of, of, uh, I gives us the, the function that we want to compute so let's see how this applies to state space models um, if we have f times a of t which we want to compute to Taylor series then we produce um, the first one, which is going to be t i t minus 1, um, which is going to be t times t minus 1, which is just i, uh, multiplied by t. So we take t outside the brackets, and we get f naught i, f naught lambda t, f 2 lambda squared, t squared, and so on, uh, multi post multiplied by t minus 1. So the, the t and the t minus 1 can be taken outside the expression and we're left with t times f of lambda t t minus 1 in the inside the, the brackets so if we know what the expansion is for the function defined in terms of the eigenvectors eigenvalues we can compute the function for any generalized a matrix so if we know a and we know the eigenvector matrix eigenvalue matrix and use the eigenvector matrix and its inverse, we can compute any any function that has a Taylor series expansion. So inside the brackets, this lambda t, that's just going to be a set of functions 
Um, so each diagonal term effectively is a single expression. So with lambda. And so this is going to be the Taylor series expansion of the function defined in terms of the eigenvalue. So f of i of t is just simply t times f of lambda t, where lambda matrix times t minus 1, where that is just a diagonal matrix uh, for each of the functions in, uh, in terms of the uh, diagonal eigenvalue. So in particular, the solution of dx by dt equals ax, given x equals x0, t is, not, is, is given by e to the minus a t x0. And we know e to the minus a t because it's the um, exponential function, and that's the transition matrix. So we can use the diagonal form to, to get at that. And similarly, if we have a general, general system of equations ax plus bu, we can solve that uh, for the system by co composing the response due to the initial conditions e to the at x0 and the integral e to the at minus t with tau bu tau by d tau. This is a convolution integral and this gives us the forced response. So we can use the diagonalization, this function here, to simplify the computation of the matrix exponential and we can use the trans transformation system transformation t t minus 1 to convert that into an exponential function that applies to any state equation all we need to know is the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the a matrix so we will illustrate this in the lecture by by doing some examples so uh, that's gives us a way then to the tr system transformation similarity transform gives us a way then to s solve any s state system of state equations just by knowing the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the matrix and that makes the computation very much simpler so that's what the subject of the session will be we'll do some examples of this see how this is actually is applied and we'll also look at how we can uh, solve the problem using uh, other methods as well such as system transformation um, in order to get a diagonal matrix and then also the Laplace transform and that once you've seen those three you'll be able to choose for yourself which you want to use to solve a given problem so once again thanks for watching and we'll hope you enjoyed this presentation we'll see you in the session um, when it takes place um, on Friday so thanks for watching